and welcome to the Memorandum of Understanding Signing Ceremony between the St. Lucia Nurses Association and the Taiwan Nurses Association. I am Linda Chocolate Berthier, sexual reproductive health nurse within the Community Nursing Service, and it is an honor to be your host for this exciting and historical occasion. We move along to our program as I welcome Miss Alicia Baptiste, President of the St. Lucia Nurses Association, with the welcome remarks. It is my honor to welcome you all to this historic occasion, the signing of the first ever Memorandum of Understanding between the St. Lucia Nurses Association and the Taiwan Nurses Association. This journey began in 2019 when I visited Taiwan and met with the then president of the Taiwan Nurses Association. It was through continual discussion with the Taiwan Embassy sorry, in St. Lucia which led to this momentous occasion. The signing of this Memorandum of Understanding serves to enhance partnership between the two parties in the areas of nursing education, professional training, and exchange areas of cooperation to include participation in international conferences, seminars, workshops, and other capacity building opportunities, training programs, knowledge sharing, and exchange of information, academic material, and or technical expertise. The St. Lucia Nurses Association is indeed thankful for this collaboration and looks forward to a beneficial relationship, benefiting our nurses and by extension, the people of St. Lucia. It's my great pleasure and privilege to witness today's signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association. This MOU signing or enhanced partnership between Taiwan Nurses Association and Sanusha Nurses Association in knowledge sharing and capacity building through periodic mutual exchange. In fact, prior to today's ceremony, a substantial amount of cooperation between the two nurses associations has already been achieved. Two Sanusha nurses were live for Taiwan in July this year to attend the ICN Leadership for Change program sponsored by Taiwan Nurses Association. By participating in the same program, we believe that the expertise these nurses will gain will equip them with better knowledge for how to improve practices in the Sanusha healthcare sector. All of this is happening because both our countries recognize the important role that good healthcare plays in shaping society. I also like to take this opportunity to commend the leadership and great efforts of Honorable Minister Jean Baptiste, the Department of NGO International Affairs of MOFA in Taiwan, President Chen, President Baptiste, from, the, from both nurses associations and officials from Taiwan Ministry of Health to make this MOU signing realize. Ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all is one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. In that spirit, Taiwan remains committed to assisting in the enhancement of the healthcare capacity in St. Lucia. Thank you. I do agree that NGOs play a critical role in developing society, improving communities, and promoting citizens' participation. Nurses often find themselves on the front lines of serving the most vulnerable and filling the gap in communities without access to physicians. We now listen to remarks by Ms. L.V. Hu, Deputy Director General, Department of NGO International Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Republic of China, Taiwan. It is my Great pleasure to join you and witness the start of this mon mon monumental partnership between Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association. First of all, on behalf of the Republic of China, Taiwan Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I would like to extend our warmest congratulations on the agreement reached between Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association. 
I also want to applaud the tireless efforts of the two national association of nurses through the COVID-19 pandemic and the facilitation of our embassy in St. Lucia to make today's event possible. This MOU offers an excellent opportunity to expand the nursing education and professional training cooperation and more in nursing care and science between our countries, particularly because of the strong emphasis placed on public health by both institutions. The COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated that trust, partnership, and solidarity are essential for confronting shared public health threats. As we are aware, this pandemic won't end at home until it ends worldwide. Taiwan has leveraged its experience in containing the 2003 SARS outbreak by responding to the COVID-19 crisis with rapid measures, early deploy deployment, prudent actions and transparency. Collectively, these actions have created a Taiwan model is well known for successfully combating COVID-19. Since the outbreak of the pandemic, Taiwan has donated PPEs, face masks, ventilators, and more recently than 10,000 AstraZeneca vaccines to St. Lucia. As we all always mention, Taiwan can help. We are also willing to share the experience and more with our friends in St. Lucia, not only via official channel, but also through NGOs cooperation. This memorandum of understanding serves as the best practice of promoting cooperation between NGOs. With strong leadership of President Baptiste and President Dr. Chen, I'm confident that the two associations will translate this MOU from a commitment on paper to a reality in lives of the people we serve. In closing, my hearty congratulations to Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association for achieving such tremendous milestone in these exceptional times. That's all of us to help make this partnership a success. And I look forward to seeing the fruits of these exchanges soon. Thank you. We really do appreciate the contributions of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia. NGO seeks to bring together nurses and communities to provide education, healthcare, and scholarship in the spirit of unity. Nursing development is critical, as we know, in improving standards of nursing care. And now, remarks from Dr. Shu Feng Chai, Director General, Department of Nursing and Healthcare, Ministry of Health and Welfare, Republic of China, Taiwan. I'm delighted and honored to be in this. A memorandum of understanding signed ceremony between the Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association. Taiwan and St. Lucia have several characteristics in common. For example, we are both beautiful island nations, and we are both countries that are united in our commitment to a health system that supports universal health coverage. As we all know, one of the most important milestones of the 20th century in the field of public health was the Alma Alta Declaration of 1978, which called for a global commitment to the goal of health for all. Collaborative efforts around the world have made it possible to work toward advanced developments for a world with universal health coverage. And I'm proud to say that St. Lucia and Taiwan has always been there from the beginning because social economic development is critical to healthcare delivery and reform. And intercultural linkages happened to be key in this regard. St. Lucia was one of the first countries to begin developing an intercultural approach to public health and its Minister of Health, along with other Caribbean Ministries of Health, convened a national intercultural workshop in 1981. 
to establish the intersectoral committee on primary health care, which was quickly followed by the development of a primary care strategy for the Caribbean. Taiwan has never been absent from taking up the challenges to work with the world to provide better health for people. We have done our part in global nursing initiative. Rest our nursing research, education, and practice to the top level, resisting COVID-19. And most importantly, create an atmosphere where nurses can be a voice to lead. In nursing policy making, we are both an integral part of the global nursing. The St. Lucia Nurses Association, like the Taiwan Nurses Association, Association is committed to protecting and defending the rights of nurses and believes strongly in principles of equity and community involvement. I hope that the two associations can begin close collaboration and work closely together to exchange ideas on policy recommendation, research activities, nursing education, and evidence based practice. I also hope that both associations will work together with the ministries of health in both countries and assist in nursing and healthcare matters. With the signing of this MOU, I feel we are one step close to attaining the global of universal health coverage. Congratulations to you all. And thank you very much. Indeed, nursing associations are organizations devoted to the professional and personal development of members and to the general advancement of the profession. So I definitely agree that this close collaboration will assist nurses in defending their rights, understanding their roles, and of course, by extension, improving universal health care. And now Dr. Chin Min Cheng, president of the Taiwan Nurses Association, Republic of China, Taiwan, will tell us a little more. On behalf of Taiwan Nurses Association, it's my greatest honor to extend my warmest greetings and welcome you all to this memorandum of understanding sign ceremony. Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association are two of national nursing associations in the International Council of Nurses. We have enjoyed a long-standing friendship with each other and worked together to ensure the health and right for the people of the world under the leadership of ICN. To continue these efforts and based on well-established foundation, today we are going to deepen and expand our collaboration through this signing of MOU. This is a very historical moment and has never been so important in this constant changing world as the COVID-19 pandemic and recent armed conflict of Ukraine has demonstrated the importance of partnership and solidarity of nurses. This MOU commits us to work together more closely and support each other towards our common goal and value in nursing such as pursuit of internationalization, capacity building for nurses, enhancement of academic achievement and research outcome and so on. On top of this, universal health coverage and sustainable development goals are also very significant that the two associations can stay and work together toward these goals. Taiwan Nurses Association has very strong in leadership trainings. We have two official journals every year. We conduct research conference and over 100 continuing education seminars. We are more than happy to share with our sister, St. Lucia Nursing Associations. Lastly, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone who has dedicated to making this sign of MOU a reality. In particular, I would like to thank two key persons, Ambassador Peter Chen and Mr. Moses Sean Baptist. Without your support, 
the signing of the MOU would not be possible. Though I cannot attend this ceremony in person, I can feel two dignities, full support and strong backup. This is very important and encourage for nurses of both countries. Thank you so much. In addition, I would like to thank our Chief Nursing Officer from Minister of Health and Welfare, um, Su Feng Cai, for her opening speech due to another important event. She is not be able to join us online today. In conclusion, once again, I would like to recognize the signing of MOU between Taiwan Nurse Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association and commit strengthening a stronger relationship between our two associations and implementing the content of MOU. Thank you so much. A few things uh, noteworthy was the capacity building, sustainable development goals, and leadership training seminars. You could imagine the opportunities for both the Taiwan nurses and St. Lucia nurses with this collaboration. So ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing a moment in history. Put your hands together one more time for this. Nurses get developed, standard of nursing care improves, our country benefits in the increased health and disease prevention, and as we know it, health is wealth. So this augurs well for our country. Dr. Lian Wu Guang, the third vice president of the International Council of Nurses, will share some more by her brief remarks online. It's my great pleasure to be here to witness the signing of MOU between Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association. ICN is a global nursing family representing 27 million nurses from 138 national nurses association worldwide. Through collaborating and resource sharing among each other, national Nurses Association across the world enable their sister association to empower their members, promote mutual growth and development. The partnership will act as a catalyst for quality nursing care and better health outcome. As ICN's third vice president, I congratulate both Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association. You have demonstrated an excellent example by collaborating and sharing with each other. I believe both Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association will benefit mutually in the development of nursing profession. By working together, enhancing the nursing education, profession, and capacity, hopefully building resilient healthcare systems and promote health for all will come true. Strengthening and enhancing the capacity of National Nurses Association is essential for the global voice of nursing to continue being heard and valued. Again, I congratulate and thank Taiwan Nurses Association and St. Lucia Nurses Association for this very significant moment. Finally, I wish you all the best, healthy, successful, and prosperous. Thank you. In this very significant moment, we will engage in a minister who has been protecting and promoting public health and providing welfare and pioneering and advocating for the social security and health of the country. I wish to thank the government and people of Taiwan on this momentous occasion. I wish to thank Ambassador Chen for his leadership and this memorandum of understanding is clearly another example of the cooperation which exists between the people of Taiwan and the people of St. Lucia. I wish to thank you, Ambassador, for 
all of what you've done for us, in particular during this pandemic. I wish to thank Ambassador and the government of Taiwan for what you've done for us over the years in, in the healthcare, in healthcare, and also um, we, we, we are thankful for the recent donation of vaccines and all of the assistance during this COVID-19 pandemic. I wish to thank you for, for embracing us, even though you have your own challenges at home in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic, you found within your resources the ability to stretch your hand of friendship to the people of St. Lucia. And on behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia, I wish to say thanks very much. When we look at the program which, which, which underpins the Memorandum of Understanding, we recognize, as Nurse Alicia Baptist said a while ago, that there is, we have tremendous opportunities for participation in conferences, seminars, workshops, and other capacity building opportunities, training programs. Very important at this time. We also recognize that this memorandum of understanding will allow us to share and to exchange information, academic material, or the technical expertise. It also allows us to have opportunities for both parties to gain experience from each other's work. I wish to say that the need for continuous training for our nurses is important and critical at this time, as Ambassador and other um, officials who are with us online, you may, you, you may know that this region, as with many other regions, continues to experience what we refer to as a brain drain, an exodus of our very qualified nurses for better opportunities for themselves and their families. This continues to place pressure on our healthcare system. I believe that the training and retraining of nurses can assist because what this will do, it will help with job satisfaction. If people are better trained, if professionals are better trained, there's continuous training, they have a sense of job satisfaction, and it also help, helps them with their self-actualization, and hopefully um, they will remain, um, even though we will obviously have to find some more money to pay them. But, <laughs> but I, know, I know that with with, with better training comes a, a, a feeling of, you know, you feel better about yourself and therefore you, you're more likely to remain at home. So this gives us an opportunity to, to train our nurses and even, even after they have served and they want to, to go to another, another healthcare market, they are better trained to provide better services. This government's priority, I must say to you, Ambassador, and also the team in Taiwan, this government's priority continues to be an accelerated process with, with a specific set of activities to achieve universal health coverage over a period of time. I want to say to you, Ambassador, and the team overseas, that we are going to activate and we are going to ensure that we implement a specific set of activities starting this year to ensure that we begin the process uh, toward universal health coverage. So we are committed to promoting health for all. We are also focused on measurable activities which will lead us to the process of universal health coverage and to ensure that the partnership which exists between the people and government of Taiwan and St. Lucia, that this partnership continues for the benefit of both populations and the benefit of our people. Um, we know, we all agree inside of health and our team over in Taiwan, that healthcare for all clearly must be our priority. This pandemic taught us that all of our economic models, all of the, the theories of economic growth will certainly fall flat down if we have any slight universal problem with healthcare. And we saw all the planes grounded to a halt. We saw all the economic ground into a halt because we had this COVID-19 pandemic. It demonstrates to us our need to strengthen our primary healthcare systems and, and our need to make our healthcare systems more resilient. So with these few words, I wish to once again say how, how thankful we are as a government, how thankful we are as a team at the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. I wish to thank Ms. Ba Alicia Baptiste and her team for, for working throughout the years on this, and I would I want to say to the nurses 
of St. Lucia that we are committed to, to, to this, and we're going to work very hard to ensure that we, we, we have quality outcomes and not just a, a nice ceremony and mm -hmm. so on, that we have quality outcomes over the years. So thank you very much. And I really appreciate this opportunity. Thank you. Definitely healthcare for all is our priority. But I think I will grab this opportunity to share the sentiments that nurses are thinking right now. The happy feeling we feel when we hear Honorable Minister mention things like job satisfaction and self-actualization and improvement in, in pay. I can't even, you know. <laughs> calm myself down right now. I, I mean, it, 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 it's... <laughs> you know, this is definitely a noteworthy moment. This is a historical moment and a very exciting moment for nurses in St. Lucia. Yes. So the moment we've been waiting for, the signing of the memorandum of understanding. And we are here to witness this, as it happens in a synchronized play, both online and in person. Synchronized play, Dr. Chin Ming Chen of Taiwan Nurses Association signing by video, and the signing by Miss Alicia Baptiste of the St. Lucia Nurses Association, witnessed by Ambassador Peter Cheng and by Honorable Moses Jabati. Thank <laughs> you.